everyone welcome to the channel in this video we will discuss how to use the if conditions in your logic app workflow there are scenarios wherein you would like to write integration logic and you would like to evaluate your data based on certain conditions and those conditions are very important to make a decisions of your integration logic logic app has given you certain number of option to specify or to evaluate your data based on certain condition. In today's demonstration, we are going to look at the if condition block or if condition connector with logic app to evaluate your incoming data within the integration. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching PO Learner. For the demonstration, I have the standard logic app created. The name I have given as the standard lab. And this is a standard logic app created inside the integration app service plan and the storage account supported and it's been supported by this particular storage account so currently in this logic app i have two workflows which we have created in our previous demonstration i'm going to create a quick new i'm going to create a new workflow for the quick demonstration I'll call it as a if condition demonstration and I'll choose the workflow type as a stateful. For this particular workflow, I'm going to go, I'm going to create a HTTP trigger. In this workflow, I'm going to choose a HTTP trigger workflow. So I'll be using this option, which is the HTTP request. When the HTTP request is received, I'll use the sample JSON request, which I have it in my Postman to create the request body schema for my HTTP, for my HTTP request trigger. I simply say yes, and that will create a schema to validate the incoming request on the HTTP trigger. I'll choose the option as parameter method type to the post. Next action, I'm going to use the compose option or let's use the let's evaluate. I'm going to use the compose option. This is just an optional thing, but I just want to validate or get the data. So I'll say content in the double quotes content. And here I'm going to get the content so that we can read the content. I'll say entire body compose request next action i'm going to use the action which is of type condition so here if you scroll down to the actions tab on the right side you will see that there is a condition block available which is conditions you can also type in at the top to search the data to search the connector now here in the conditions block, you can specify, you can click here on this particular gray option, which is a condition that will show this condition block and you can specify the conditions here. So let's say choose the value on which you would like to evaluate your condition. So here I'm going to say, let's say if my location or the address is belongs to specific value let's say london if the location is london then i would like to flow my logic to a true block if the location is not london or anything else apart from london then it will go to the else block i would say a response type and here i'm going to say message Request was from. I would just simply concatenate this using the concat function. This and I use the dynamic block, which is the address. this one okay so now this message will say a request is from london or similarly i can say the same thing 
and just return the response but as this request is not meeting the conditions so i'll say 500 and this time again i say in the response body message concat function And again, this time I'll use the same address body just for the demonstration. Simply save it. Now this has saved my condition. So let's read this implementation again. As when I as and when I'm going to receive the request, I'm going to evaluate the request message on the address property. And within the address property, I'm evaluating against the condition London. So when the city is London, or I can say when city is London. Okay. Then it will go and return this response or and in this case it says invalid address. Valid address, invalid address. Save it. Simply I, for the demonstration, I'm going to use the URL. You can just flip back to the designer so that we have the URL generated. Copy this URL condition. I'll run this from the postman. We're passing the same JSON which has a value London. As you can see that I got the message as request from was from London and similarly if I pass the value as in something else apart from London let's say I'll pass Manchester I'll simply run this now and it says request was from this and this time I got the HTTP as 500 because we, well, this is what we have specified as a message as the HTTP uh, request type or the response type right so this is how you can use the uh, simplest if else condition in your workflow and this is really important concept to use in the logic app integrations services i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video